How are we doing guys? Gamer316 here with a bit of a pickup video uh, and a little chat about uh, Leeds Retro Games Fair that was held today, uh, Saturday the 18th of February. Um, only just got back so sorry if I look a bit rough, I'm a bit, it's been a long day, been a very long day, uh, part of the went so I had to also do a bit of bits and bobs in Leeds as well so it's been a very 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 long day. Um, so, got to, got to the Retro Games Fair about half eleven, quarter to twelve. Um, I'm glad we did, we didn't have to wait or anything like that, walk straight in, uh, paid, our, paid our two pound and just got straight in. Um, overview of the day, I've mentioned it in my previous videos, uh, in my previous video before with the uh, Leeds Games Fair, Super Games Fair that was in Leeds Town, Town Hall. Um, the Marriott Hotel was nice, better air conditioning, a lot better air conditioning, but the venue was still too small. It was even smaller. Um, I know it wasn't the Super Retro Games Fair, so that means uh, that normally super, the Super ones are bigger, slightly bigger, <coughs> but this venue was a lot smaller. Um, very cramped. Um, not as many storeholders as Super Retro Games Fair and storeholders that were there. There was one from Super Retro Games Fair who had the back, if, if you went to Super Retro Games Fair, if you walked to the very end, it was like a little flight of stairs and you had a massive table. And I do mean a massive table of games. But this one, you had two little tables and like, it just felt a very a cut down version of the Super Retro Games Fair that they do. Um, the some of the store stores were really really good. I do say that um, I can say from some of the pickups, but some of them were really really bad. Um, somebody what I spoke how much they wanted the Mario Kart, just the cartridge, Super Mario Kart on SNES. They wanted twenty nine ninety nine for it, but if I went into the, into the main hall, I could have got it boxed with a manual for thirty five, and that's not even with me bartering. Bartering so. So yeah, I think some of the stores were trying to try to play the hand a little bit, and some stores were about right prices. So um, very cramped. It was very cramped uh, when we got there. Me and my mate walked around twice, and we got to about to about two or three two or three of the stores because I was just like trying to look over. And I'm quite tall. I'm six seven. I'm like I'm looking over and stuff like that. There's people in front and trying to wait your turn and stuff like that. About an hour later, it started to it started to thin out a bit, so you had a bit more time to look at the games and stuff like that. Um, but please, this comment uh, it's nothing it's not meant to be nasty, but people brought push chairs to it, and it was it, it wasn't going to work. And I like it was like not barging in the, in the way through, but they'd push chairs and stuff like. That. I thought to myself if you if they go to a table, they're blocking most of the ta a half table up. And you can't look what what you're looking for, and I'm like, oh. if you're like, if, but that's where you get sometimes you get some people like that. And if you've got kids, I completely understand, and it, it, you have sometimes being kids and being push chairs. But uh, first, for a very small venue and a very for a niche market, I don't I don't think it's 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 warranted or needed. But hey, that's just my opinion. I'm not going to go on about it. So. Um, like I say, some of the stores were really good, some were really bad. They had, they had a separate room for just uh, playing computer games. They had TVs set up with uh, PlayStations and stuff like that set up. In my opinion, they shouldn't have had that there. They could have put more storeholders in there. Put more storeholders in there and they could have had... It would have filtered out a little bit of the uh, the, the bottlenecks in the hallway. Because it was one hallway and you could go there or there or go further around. It was too... It was too it was too bottlenecked right at the very beginning. Later on it did fizzle out, so it weren't it weren't too bad later on, but if there was more people that would have gone, I think it would have been a really, really uh, a cramped area, so uh so pickup wise, um first of all, if you guys remember this one from my previous video, the uh Mario Kart Double Dash, um Thank you for watching that. Uh, thank you to the new subs as well. I'm 55 now, so thank you very much. 
hopefully it gets to 100 by the end of the year. If not, it, I, I, I do this for... I do this because I collect games and I bought stuff. I'll, I'll, I'll share this to you. So, But as you see, uh, Mario Kart Double Dash. And I did, did say if anybody had a, a manual or anything like that, that, please get in contact. But there was a store that was actually selling manuals. And the very first manual that was at the front was Mario Kart Double Dash. So that's, that, so that's now actually completed that game. So, which is fantastic. So, completely happy about that. And it cost me a fiver. So, that, I've got no, I've got no qualms about that. So the games, I, the games I have, uh, I took 150 quid with me. Uh, I spent about half of it. I didn't spend all my money. Uh, I came up with some money because the, the the selection wasn't there because the stores were so small this uh, this this time. There wasn't that much selection, so which is a bit of a shame. But hey, it's one of the things. I think some of them didn't go to Leeds this time. They went to, they're going to Doncaster next week, and they've got to be separated a lot further apart next year or um, later on in the year. They've got to be. It's just too tight. It's too. It's too close. It's it's week after each other. Um, I'm not going to Doncaster because my funds wouldn't do to both of them. Just sadly, it wouldn't. So yeah. So it just it's a bit of a no break. It's a bit of a dumb decision, really. But um, yeah, it's one of the things. So the first game I did pick up was a, this was for the Dreamcast. It was only a fiver. Um, the selection, like I say, selection games was a lot of the same games on each store, uh, especially like the Dreamcast. It, it, but some of the game Dreamcast games that were there, I did one like Resident Evil Two and Three. It's like they were very expensive, and I was like, would I really pay that? And you get one store had Resident Evil Two for thirty quid with no manual, and another one for thirty quid complete. I'm like, well, come on. So, but it's only cost me five, but it's another one to the Dreamcast collection. I don't mind it. It's, it's not the greatest Dreamcast game ever made, but it's a bit of fun for me, and that is Sega GT. Uh, it's fully complete. It's in really good condition, uh, except the cases, just the hinges and everything. But I'm not too worried about that. It's just another one to the collection. Uh, these two games I got for... Do, 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 do. 32. What's going to cost me 35? Um... First game is Metal Slug 4 for the PS2. Like I say, I'm only buying PS2 games that I do want now, so Metal Slug, I, I, I will, Metal, any of the Metal Slugs, I'll always buy. And the game that I've, I've wanted for ages, uh, sadly number 3 wasn't there, but 2 was, it is Future Rage 2. So, uh, 25 quid, but it came to 23. Uh, so, Future Rage 2 for the Mega Drive, absolutely brilliant game. So. It's, it's a bit of a no-brainer. I've got number one. I, I, I love number one, two, and three. Number three is it's now to the point now. It's seventy quid for roughly number three. So uh, four games I got from a number store. Sorry about that. Camera fell down. Um, yeah, four games from a stall. Um, it's one one of these games I thought that's a bit of a a rarity. Hardly see it around, and I thought, sod it, I'll buy it anyway. It, <coughs> I think it cost me 22, 20, 22 quid. And that game is Stubbs the Zombie for the original Xbox. So I, I Amazon this straight away. So I was speaking to my mates about it. I wanted about fifty quid for that on Amazon. Fifty quid. So. Uh, I've not played it, so I've, I've not commented. I've not played these games yet. So, uh, next game is King of the Fighters 02, and that was seven quid for the original box. Two P PS2 games. Uh, very weird. This is. I've got Ratchet and, Cl Ratchet and Clank 2 for fiver, and Ratchet and Clank 3 for fiver. Ratchet and Clank 1. Which was a platinum version, yeah, was seven quid. I don't get that. I thought normally the later games are a bit more expensive because we're doing a bit more. Okay. Um, final three games. Uh, I was doing a bit of filming. The video will go up sometime today, maybe tomorrow. See, how, see what time I'm going to get. Get myself into a routine and just get myself sorted tonight. So it'll be today or tomorrow. It'll definitely be up. So I do a bit of filming, and the last tour I did, I seen this little independent one. I've been walked past it a couple of times, I thought there was nothing there. But I, 
I, at the corner of my eye, I caught this dream ca uh, Saturn game, and I thought to myself, I'm gonna have a look. And they only wanted a tenner for it, and you know, all the other stores wanted about 18 quid for it. So I thought, hey, 10 quid, it's 8 quid same, so I might as well buy it. And it is Daytona USA, the uh, Championship Edition, not the original one, because I've only got down there, but the Championship one, which is a tennis. It's all complete, so I'm not, not going to complain for that one. Another cheapie from so all these next two games from the same store. It is BMX Triple X for the Xbox, and that was only a fiver. And this next game, I've been searching around for it for a bit, and it was roughly about 18 quid, 16 to 18 quid. And this bloke had it for a fiver. The case ain't in the greatest condition, but I'm not that bad. I can get this. I, I can buy a cheap game, but this is the sort of case over, so. And this thing cost me a fiver, and it is Mega Games 3. Sadly missing the Monaco Grand Prix manual. But I'm not concerned because I've got Monaco Grand Prix up there anyway, so I only wanted it for Super Thunderblade and uh, Alien Storm. Because Alien Storm, loose, or on its own, as a separate game case, 20 quid nearly. So, I might as well buy Mega Games 3 and get it for fiver. It's, it's a bit of a no-brainer, so. So, like I say, I will be doing the, uh, the raw footage. It's not the greatest camera work, I'm actually trying to shop and film at the same time, you'll hear me talking to him mate and he'll be on his phone to his missus and stuff like that but it's going to be completely raw, um, editing is nothing, not my forte but, but yeah, it's it, it's just a snapshot of the day, like I did in my previous video um, so yeah, I, I did enjoy it if you're going to Doncaster next week, enjoy it, I sadly I'm not going to be there um, it's just one of the things, money's, you can't when you buy retro games, you can't you can't keep forking out. So it's just it's just one of them things. But super retro games fair most probably will go in in June. But that's a long way away. It's a summertime. So, but yeah, if you do like these videos, please like and subscribe. And I apologise for the camera falling over. Uh, won't edit that out. That'll be a, that'll go straight. That one straight through. You most probably just seen. Because um, yeah, it's I'm not going to film this for a third time. Second, the first time I completely chopped my head off. Um, but yeah, if you do like these videos, please like and subscribe, and I hope to see you very, very soon. Cheers.